What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I talk all about LGBTQ plus books. In the book world, November is nonfiction November and readers dedicate the month to reading nonfiction books. So today I'm going to recommend you my favorite nonfiction books by LGBTQ plus authors. I will have a blog post on my website linked down below with all of the books I mentioned and their trigger warnings. If you enjoy this video, give it a like to help more people see it and let's get started. First, I'm going to be recommending short books. This is one of my favorite books of the year, Skate for Your Life by Leo Baker. This is a short book, a part of the Pocket Change Collective series, and it is a series of short books by today's leading activists. Leo Baker is a trans mask, non-binary pro skater. Leo talks all about their experience being a pro skater skater and just a trans athlete in general. And if you're looking to read more about trans people in sports, this is the first book I'm going to recommend you. Next is another book in the Pocket Change Collective, and this is Continuum by Cello Man. This is all about self-acceptance. Cello Man is deaf, trans, genderqueer, Jewish, and Chinese, and they just talk all about self-acceptance. This is a great book if you're looking to read more from the trans perspective, especially if you're looking to read more about disabled trans people and and trans people of color. Next, I have a guide, and this is a quick and easy guide to queer and trans identities by Maddie G and J.R. Zuckerberg. This has so many fun colors and it has really good information inside. The title is self-explanatory. It teaches you what gender identity is. It goes through sexualities. I really enjoy that it mentions asexuality and I just thought it was awesome. I think if you're really looking to learn more, this is a book that I would recommend you. Those were all of the short books I have to recommend. And now on to the novels. First is The Pretty One on Life, Pop Culture, Disability, and Other Reasons to Fall in Love with Me by Kia Brown. One of my favorite books that I read last year. Kia Brown is a black bisexual disabled woman. She has cerebral palsy and she talks all about accessibility in this book, but she also talks about disability representation on TV. And that was one of my favorite parts of the book. She also talks about depression. She talks about music and I just love this book so much and I just recommend it to everybody. If you are able to listen to this on audiobook, I would recommend your first time reading this to be with an audiobook because her audiobook is so awesome. I just love this book so much and I hope that you will pick it up. Next is In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. This is a powerful memoir where Carmen recounts her experience with abuse in a queer relationship. It is told in first person, so it kind of sounds like she's writing a letter to herself. Each chapter is told in a different theme or idea that relates to the dream house. And I just love this so much. So if the topics are not triggering to you, I would highly recommend this book. Next is All Boys Are in Blue by George M. Johnson. This is by a non-binary author and they recall the events of their childhood. I love this so much. I personally love the grief aspect of this book, so it holds a sentimental value for me. I have two more books to recommend you. Yesterday, I was rudely interrupted by a leaf blower and could not finish out the video. So here are the rest of the book recommendations. Next, I have a poetry collection, and this is Homie by Dennis Smith. They are a black, queer, non-binary poet and they are also HIV positive. The poems are about their life experiences, grief, mourning the loss of people taken too soon, American racism, and much more. I love this poetry collection so much and I would highly recommend it. And last, I have a graphic memoir. I love graphic memoirs and this is one of my all-time favorites. It is Honor Girl by Maggie Thrash. This is about Maggie at 15 years old going to an all-girls summer camp, dealing with her first heartbreak and coming to terms with her sexuality. I love this book so much. 
Those were all of my LGBTQ plus nonfiction book recommendations. Feel free to leave your recommendations down in the comments below. I would love to get more recommendations so I can keep making these kind of videos. If you're new here, I make book recommendations pretty often on this channel, so feel free to hit subscribe so you can get more LGBTQ plus book recommendations on your feed. And if you do have my notifications on, make sure just to check that you have them set to all notifications because my analytics told me not everybody has that set, so you're not going to be getting a notification for every video I post. I have over 13 book recommendation videos, so if you would like to watch more, you can go and click the playlist on my end screen. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting, and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye!